I am on a mission, a mission to help the special needs community find out what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ created them to become. You are now watching Whole Creation. All right. All right, Joshua, show me what you got, buddy. All right. Okay. And he has like all kind of suits, like, like he's totally like rich, like Tony Stark. Yeah. And he's the coolest character ever. Wait, which one, the Iron Man or Hulk? Iron Man and him. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Have you seen the newest one, the newest Avengers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a bad ending, though. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, it was a bad ending, but. but like, I, I was like, what I think, the heck is it? I, I think that Donald, you know that one villain, one that's like the size of this one? Yeah. Donald's like, I think he's the one that took the um, powers. Or, yeah. Well, I, don't kill it for our viewers on there. I haven't watched yeah. the movie yet. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I, <laughs> I really don't want to spoil it, but it was just a bad ending. Yeah, it wasn't a bad ending. Bad Ending, yeah, that's right. That's right. How, how long have you been playing Legos for? I'm really, I'm not sure. You're not sure? How long you played Legos for? Hmm? You, you, you don't know how long you played Legos for? Uh, since, I think since I was a little kid, like, when I was like age and five or six or something. Like gotcha, okay. Well, since I was a little kid, I played Legos. Nice. But uh, when I was little, I would always break all things. Mm. I would tear things up. Gotcha. Like, for no reason, but now, <coughs> like, I think my life Thank changed. You. I think my life changed for Legos. Like, like, I'm starting to be nice with Legos. Yep, that, that happens. Like, you know, like, little kids, like, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing, you're right. No, we don't know. It, it, uh, they, they have their own battles, like, each and every one of us, we have our our own battles too, and uh, but we learn from those battles. That's what matters. I know I have to, and with, like even the best people, like your father and mother, they they have their battles too, and they have to fight through it too. It doesn't get easier, but you learn a lot that it makes it more easier within your mind to fight those battles. Like life is gonna be hard. Even though when I go high school next year, it's gonna be much, much better. Yeah, it, yeah you're right. it could be. It, it's a different experience. Let's just say that. It's a very different experience. I remember when I left middle school, I was so happy to leave middle, middle school because I was always being bullied a lot in eighth grade. Like, for a long time, I was always bullied in uh, eighth grade. And I was, I was leaving, uh, San Francisco, California in the middle of the year to move out to Charlotte, North Carolina, eighth grade. So imagine like you leaving here to go to another school in the middle of eighth grade. Like it's a lot more tough because all, a lot of um, friends already have like their cliques, their teams during uh, middle school. And so like you're going in there and you become a target because you're the new guy. And the thing is I was really big in eighth grade so People would always bully me a lot for it. So. That's why it's good that you never moved in the middle of the year. <laughs> for any people out there that are thinking about moving but, in the middle of the year, don't do it. Don't move in the middle of the year. Remember, <laughs> don't listen to non-bullies. Like, oh yeah, don't listen to bullies, you're right. Like, don't listen to so from that point on, Joshua was talking about a certain bully that was giving him such a hard time. For privacy, I didn't want to give away his name because I don't really know the guy personally, but I wanted to emphasize why it's so important to forgive the bully. Just uh, forget, forgive him. He, he, uh, he's learning just like you are. He's guilty. No, I, I mean, we're, we're all guilty of something. Like, you're guilty, guilty like, of you're, sin. You're guilty of, uh, yeah, well, what your sister said, sin. But mm -hmm. also, like, we all stole a cookie from the jar in some way. Um, in the past. Yeah, we all, everybody did everything. 
Yeah, yeah. We're all guilty of our, our sin. But that's why we're thankful because we have Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So, Amen. so this is, is learning just like you're learning and we're all in need of a savior. They're they're just jealous of you. We're not we're not better than anybody. We're all we're all we're equal. all yes, we're all equal. As, as cliche as it sounds, it's very true. We're all equal. So. Oh yeah, I need, I need So where do you wanna be when you grow up? A secret agent. Secret agent, okay. Okay. Do you know what they wear? Um, they wear normal clothes and oh Suit? secret agent. Um, I'm not too sure actually. They wear suits. They wear suits, okay. Like men in black? Yeah. Okay. You see this one like um it's like a figure. It kind of looks like a temple, something like that. Oh wait, I know, I know what it looks like. It kind of looks like a pyramid, pyramid of Giza. Yeah, maybe. That looks amazing, buddy. Mm -hmm. Thanks. What's your biggest prayer slash hope for Joshua's life? Uh, for him, basically to. You know what, to become independent, yeah. to be independent. You know, I'm working with him and working on uh, the aspect of just having him to understand that the, uh, the implications of loving other people. Yeah. Even though he's not shown that at school or other places, it's it's hard with the autism, but to show him that, you know what, it's it's not a, not about him. Other people yeah. are on this planet and we all have problems. We all yeah. fall short. Yeah. So basically just to have that, that introspective, uh, really realizing that um, it's others before him. Most definitely. Others before him, they all come short. We all fall short. Yeah. So and he's coming around. He's he seeing it. I he's see seeing it. it. I see. So basically, that you know, that I have love in his heart. You know, I don't care if he becomes president to a trash collector. You know, as long as he's he's have loves in his heart, he loves in it, he has love in his heart, he will be successful in anything he does. So that's about it. What has been your experience of seeing Joshua grow from being a young boy to becoming a, a young man every day? Um. Just the fact that he's like, he's always asking questions. He's always asking, you know, things that he doesn't know he'll ask me. I mean, sometimes it's off the wall, but you know what? Someone told me, if you don't ask, you won't know. That's true. So basically, he just his inquisitiveness of just wanting to know things. Yeah. You know how he's come from like, oh god, like those Legos you guys are, are I mean, experimenting with. Yeah. He would be throwing them out the, throughout the apartment right now when he was little. Really. Yeah, yeah, and for him to sit there and have a conversation with you, that that means a lot to me. Cause he, there was a time he couldn't do that. Really? Yeah, he couldn't do that. So he's come a long way. Yeah, I mean, he's come, and he's still going. He's still going. You you actually answered the the last question. What's your experience with watching him play Legos? So. Oh, that. Yeah, <laughs> from uh, from destructor to builder. <laughs> from destructor to builder. Okay. <laughs>